good sound now? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so I got cut off there. But we're going back in. We're going back in. We're going to keep the vibes high. Shout out to everybody out there. The peace of the gods on earth. And we're going back. This guy that I know. I got to tell you about it. Peace, God. God. Hey, peace, peace, God. What's happening? What's happening? Good to have you. I love myself. I love myself. Good to have you on the show, man. Man, appreciate it, man. I've been following you for a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's an honor, man, to finally reach at you, man. And you know what I'm saying? Speak to you live. Mm. Um, man. What's your name? Where you calling from? I'm from Houston. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, I reached my ascension, man, through a, a really harsh time, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like basically... You know what I'm saying? Pinned against the wall, man. You know what I'm saying? I had, like, no choice but to to better myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, and, um, so I started to improve. Like, started to, you know, YouTube um, self-improvement. So, just trying to build my character and trying to, you know, be become a better person. You know what I'm saying? To, you know what I'm saying? I'm a barber, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, okay. so, uh, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here. To, you know, trying to be the best person that I can be, and it just slowly started to um to 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 head in that direction, especially on the food, man. The food, I started following Dr. Sevy, you know what I'm saying, and that right there, um, you know what I'm saying, it helped me out a lot, man, because um, you know, I started drinking chaga tea, and that like it helped my third eye, you know what I'm saying, to get clearer, you know what I'm saying. So I just feel like you know. The more that I started waking up and I started listening to you as far as I love myself and everything, it all made sense, you know what I'm saying? Got to take care of yourselves, you know, I mean, yourself and all that, you know what I'm saying? And, and they speak to you and you speak to them, they're always listening. So it's like, I get it, man. I love myself. I am a God, you know what I'm saying? I am, I am, um, uh, uh, you know, this powerful guru. This, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Electric being, you know what I'm saying? And, and 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 my my mentor, you know what I'm saying, that was also guiding me. Actually, he uh, said he was gonna go out there and join you out there when you was in the uh, the tropics. Uh, I forgot where you was at, man. Uh, it was Costa Rica, Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still out there? Nah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man. But you know what I'm saying. Now, that's when I was really, really in tune right there. You know what I'm saying. But I know you was going through a lot. Um, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I got caught up with you when you was, uh, you had your baby and everything, you know what I'm saying? It was live, man. Congratulations, by the way. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah. But, um, um, I had some questions, man. Um, so being a barber, sorry, man, I'm out of breath. I'm over here yeah, excited and nervous at the same time. Shit. It's all good. Nah, it's all good. Yeah, but, um. Uh, so being a barber, man, like I'm, I'm, I'm constantly touching heads, man. Like you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and, and and being around, you know, low vibrational people, some some high, some below, but you know, um, besides my crystals and besides meditation, like what what are you suggesting? What is your advice? You know what I'm saying, as far as being literally right next to somebody, and and you got no choice but to touch their head and, and cut their hair and. And, and sm I hate small talks, so you know what I'm saying. It's like, how do you, how, how would you, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, 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 staying, staying in your power, you know. Okay, so you the second, you the second caller in to ask this question. It's crazy right. because we literally are coming into a paradigm, right? Right, in right. Consciousness, like literally, we're in a dimension in time and space, like in 2020, where. You go like literally. You cannot ignore it no more, bro. Mm. You cannot stand it and take it no more. It's, it, it gets it's getting louder. Like it's getting it's right, getting right, to right. the point where it's like, yo, what, yeah. what? What? I can't take this shit no more. Like, what am I supposed to do? And how do I survive at the mm. same time and be in this world? Let me tell you something. In Matthew six and twenty four says. No one can serve two masters. You will mm. love one and despise the other. You will be devoted to one and you will hate the other. You can't serve God and money. The truth is, you're a spiritual guru. Your life 
You're a light worker. I'm going to tell you what that means. You're right, here, right, right. You're here to bring awareness. Right. You're here to bring awareness to people, bro. You're not yeah, here to be yeah. cutting here, but you're here to bring awareness and light, meaning consciousness and awareness to people. You're here to right. be a teacher. You right. are, you, right. you are, you are. If you start telling people in the barbershop what you really want to tell them, then I do. The, owner will, the owner will kick you out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And somewhere else, yeah. Working for watch somebody this. else for me. So watch yeah. this. You have, to metamor you have to metamorphose your life. You have to believe in your journey. You have to come into oh, your yeah. calling. You are called, bro. You right, are right. indigo child, bro. Like, you're not like everybody else. You've been here. You've been called here to tell people the fucking truth about what's going on, not only with them and who yeah. they are, but right. teaching people who they are and knowledge right. yourself. You are a right. spiritual guru. You are right. not the same. You're not like everybody no. else. So no. you can't treat yourself like everybody else. And right. you have to find like minds. But what I'm going to tell you right now is to take more time into dedicating yourself into your true purpose. Right. You right. feel what I'm saying? Like take more time into practicing teaching because this is what you are. Right. You are a spiritual guru. I'm going right. to be honest with you. I, no one, because that's not gangster. That's not gangster. Uh -uh. But the truth is, it a matter of no one ever told you, dude, you're a guru. Right, 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 right. Except that, like, yo, simply yeah, yeah. like, yo, like, yo. Yeah. I, I've been no, through so no. many phases in my life. Like, I'm literally a light worker. I'm here to, I'm here to transition to help people understand knowledge of self. Bro, that's not yeah. gangster. But I, I, I have, I have. I have changed a lot of people's lives, bro, by telling my story, by my, my testimony. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, just do it, bro. Just change your whole life. Like, change your whole negativity, your whole mindset. I'm talking about the, eliminate every negative thing in your life and, 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 and watch everything turn in your favor. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I told that to a lot of people, and I've explained it to a lot of people. And I, and they, they, they call me, they tell me, bro, thank you, bro. Like, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank yourself, too. Because it was you. I just gave you the... You did that. You opened the door. I'm like Morpheus. I told you, knock on the door. You know what I'm saying? Knock on the door. You, you, you got to walk in. I just show, I just brought you to the to the door. You know what I'm you saying? Just, just speak your heart, bro. You got it. You are uh, right now. Now, here's what it is. But now I'm you got to organize it. Now you got to organize it, bro. Yeah, you, yeah. Have to, you have to organize it, right? Now that you know that you're a spiritual guru, you got to organize that, man. You have to make sure that that is something that you're taking serious. This is your life. You have to oh, yeah. make sure that you have videos out online where you, like you that you're going to inspire. You are you are literally, right? Check this out. You are assigned a certain amount of souls that only can hear the message through you. Each one of us are assigned a certain amount of souls that only can hear the message from you. They can't hear it from me. They got to hear it from you. Right. Now, you might come to me and be inspired, but they can only hear the message from you. So you have to come fully into your spiritual guru. Now, that don't mean you, you got to act like Sada Guru and dress up like all that. It means no. that you, 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 stay, you stay gangster. You, stay, you keep your root. You know where you come from. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I, I do Right, like, you know what I'm saying? I did my research too, like Aztec, Mexica, you know what I'm saying? Indigenous, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, right. I, I did my rules. So when they Remember see a, a, a person like me, you know what I'm saying? Remember. Like, with a grill and, 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 and braids and stuff like this here, and, and the way that yeah. I act, and my sweat. All that's indigenous. All that's indigenous. <laughs> right all that gangster shit, all that's indigenous. So right. Keep that. Because you know people saying? gonna be able to relate. You gonna right. you gonna help people that come from that place. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Rise their consciousness. Because ain't nobody in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Helping these people shopping like at that. Whole Foods and and, and 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 trying to buy organic food and, and letting people know that see you know what I'm saying? See the watermelons ain't, ain't what it is and they, they don't you know yeah. what I'm saying? They they, they mess their brain up and and that's what I do at the shop. But but sometimes you know what I'm saying? It's like. It's like, I got to, I feel drained. <laughs> yeah, I'm tell you why. I'm going to tell you why you're feeling drained because you you don't have like-minded people around you that, that you can feed off of, empower each other. We need right. each other. So try right. to find more like-minded people to be around 
because your family is important in the time of the age of Aquarius. We are in the age of Aquarius. This is a this is an age where we're supposed to be networking and coming right. together and finding our soul family. Your right. soul family is gonna is gonna empower you and keep right. you on your path and make you not feel like you're fucking weird for doing what you're doing. You feel right. what I'm saying? And so dedicate your life truly. Start giving more of your energy to who you truly are. And less of it to the to the to the fake world that you work for, mm. and and you will find that an avenue to receive funds will come for you to just do what you truly love, which is just to inspire and help people yeah. every day. Right you on, what I'm bro. saying? Right on, right on, right on. The straight right dedicate your life to it, bro. For real, it's time. Twenty twenty yeah. is the year. Right the on. The year, the guru. The year of the guru. <laughs> the year of the guru. Right, for right. Real, right. Yeah, the man. rise of the guru. Man, for real. Yeah. And I'm glad that my family is so receptive as well, man, with this knowledge, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it makes it easier for, for, for me to, to be the guru, you know what I mean? To be right. the light let me, let me tell you this. A lot of people be going to be like, well, how are you going to make money? Don't worry about money. Don't ever worry about money. Always keep your focus on what your dream is and what your vision is. Money going to come. That's the trick of the devil. The devil wants you to worry about in Matthew 6. Jesus says, don't worry in verse 25. He says, don't worry where your meal will come from. Don't worry where your clothes will come from. Don't worry about that. That's what the pagans worry about. The small-minded people, the worldly people, that's what they worry about. We're oh, yeah. the metaphysical, spiritual guru. So at the end of the day, we're, we, we, we live by the unseen. We right. live by the un... You can't see how my income is coming in. You don't know where my where, where my blessings are coming in. And I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on the kingdom. I'm focusing on what I came to do and give and give and give. Right, right, right. right. You know, you came here to give a message. Right, right, you came right. here to give. just focus on giving that message and everything right, right. else will fall in place for you. Money's going to come. Everything's going to come that you need, but you have to have the tenacity to fall in place. You feel me? Yeah. I always say open up yourself a cash app so that the universe can bless you through donations and stuff like that. That's always a good way to allow the universe to, to, to you know what I'm saying, to give, you know, you have a collection plate and people can give as they still need it. But what you're going to find out is that people are going to ask you anyway, how can I send you a blessing? How can I send you this, you know? Hmm. And, and so just having a cash app and just straight up doing what you love, bro. Right, just do right. what you love, bro. Oh, yeah. And do it online. This is what the internet's for because you can reach so many people. Right, right, you right. Saying? You can do it in real life, but if you're going to do it in real life, share it while you're doing it online, yeah. while you're doing it in real life, so you reach more people. Yeah, I tried to uh, open up another account, man, another uh, IG account, because I tried to, uh, you know, blend in some of my knowledge with, 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 with my, you know, strict uh barber salon because i own my own barber shop you know what i'm saying yeah it, it seemed like it was boys wasn't really digging it like i was like oh no i don't think nah, i had you to know let my barbershop go i had to let my barbershop all the way go bro yeah i still I, I gave it away you could sell it like like literally dedicate like alchemize your life sell the barbershop and literally go into spirituality bro that's what i would tell my advice to you was to sell the barbershop and just literally, you know, take that money and start investing into basically you helping people. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, well, right. that, that's, that, that's what I would do because it's never going to make you happy, bro. Well, I mean, I'm, and, I'm and, using, right now I'm just using my, my, my barbershop as a platform to enlighten folks. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Shit. <laughs> I, that's, and that's why I asked you. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm telling you, you're going to see. It, it's, you're going to see. Bro. You're going to see, bro. You're going to see, bro. You're gonna see, bro. You cannot serve God in money. You're going to have to put your full effort into this. If, let me tell you something. Whenever you want to be successful in something, you can't have no plan B. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. I don't care what it is in life. Whatever you're going to do in life, put it all the way in. Right. Put all of your focus in. Ain't no plan B. It's only plan A, right. and you cannot succeed in anything, in anything, without straight up making sure that you put all of your focus into it. You need all of your focus in to succeed as being a spiritual guru. Just like if you're going to be barber, you're going to have to put all of your focus into your shop. You cannot, you cannot half step it. You feel what right. I'm saying? Right. You need all of your energy into one thing. You cannot serve God in money. Yeah, yeah. 
Or 10 classes at the shop. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I attend classes at the shop? I, I, I was reading, reading some messages, man. Hey, that's not sounding like a smart idea. Attend classes at the shop, you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> okay. I mean, you know. Okay. Somebody, okay, now, now, go ahead. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, Babylon. I think, <laughs> hey, I, I, gave you, I gave you my advice. You know, no, 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 right on. And I appreciate that. I'm, I'm very grateful for that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful for that, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in this 2020, man, I'm in line with myself with a lot of people that... It's okay. They don't have to. They don't have to. We gotta, it's okay. He, he'll learn. He'll learn. He'll learn on his own. You literally been there, didn't you? Yeah, I literally had it. Yeah, man, it's all a learning process, man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as long as I'm the observer, not the absorber, you know, I don't, I don't absorb these energies. I read energies, you know what I'm saying? So I observe what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And and that, I'm, I'm thankful for, for having that discernment and, and that alignment, you know what I'm saying? I when, 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 G, when a rich man came to Jesus and said, what do I have to do to be perfect? What did he tell him? Did he tell him, hey, man, go back over there and then, uh, you know, and, and keep what you had? No, he told the rich man, what did he tell the rich man? Uh, what? He told the rich man, sell everything that you have and give it to the poor and come follow me. Hmm. He said, give it all away, come follow me. And the rich man had too much and he said, you know what? It is harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven than a, than a camel to the hole of a needle. So if you cannot give that stuff away, then you will never enter the kingdom of heaven because you have to dedicate your whole life to this for you to ever be who you truly supposed to be and who you truly are called to be. That stuff will only make you miserable yeah. and take away from you. But I've given you the advice. No, no doubt. You don't have to no, take it. No, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Everything's an illusion. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, mm -hmm. that's real. That's real. I appreciate that. Hey. Uh, I love myself. Man. Hey, I love myself, man. Peace, God. Peace, God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to check our next caller. Hello. Peace, girl. How you feeling? How you feeling? <laughs> I, um, I wanted to ask you one question. Um, I'm a Scorpio, and I'm trying, trying to figure out what my moon and my sun is. Where would I go for that information? All right, so you can go to tarot.com. Mm -hmm. That's T-A-R-O-T dot com. Is two R's or say it again? What? It's T A R O T dot com. It's twenty. I think it's twenty dollars for the report, and it's a really in detail report of you. It's a great investment. It's called an essential birth chart report. Okay. Essential birth chart report. Got it. Okay. It is so very important that you get that. To, to like, I think everyone should get one. It's really, really good. It's a very good investment on yourself. And it's a good present to you. Okay. Can you, um, just off of me telling you my birthday, could you tell me what it, what my moon and my sun is? Or? Uh, yeah, I can. I would have to, you know, look at that. I, I'm not doing readings right now. But I feel like you, you, should, you should really, you know, get into it. Okay. Essential birth chart report. Everybody's in the chat. They're chat. They, they, they're, yep. they're repeating it for you. I see. I mean, okay, I'm three shot that. Cool. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for calling. Right. All right. Next caller. Hey, peace, reflection. <laughs> peace. I love myself. I love myself. What's going on? Hey, I just want to say that, um, like, I follow you because, like, you know what you're talking about. Like, you did things that, like, average people, it's not like they can't do. You know, they, can, they can't do that. And, you know, like, I ain't, I ain't with the haters, you know. Like, I don't like that, you know. So I just I just want to you know um say that you know I'm 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 with it you know so also um my uh every son is in the uh second house and I want to know like what you what you think about that Every son in the second house I would have to know where your second house is at to give you a like um a good read It's so much into astrology man it's it's just you can't you can't just all I could tell you is something very brief is that you're a leader. Um, from just what you told me, it, I could give you a brief reading. Just, you know, basically that you're a leader uh, and you, you're, you're into finances. 
You feel me? Like you could be an accountant or, you know, I mean, you're good with numbers. Um, you're good with finances. You know, you're really good with finances, you know, when it comes to money. Right. And that's what I wanted to know, because, like, you know, like I'm a spiritual guru. So I want to know, like, how does like that play into like what I want to do? You know, because like my son is so focused on like the money, but I'm really trying to like break away, you know, like no nine to five, you know, like because what I do on a daily basis, I do research and I, you know, study. That's what I love to do. You know, I love to share the knowledge. So I'm like trying to figure out, like, how do I make this a full time? You know, um, you just have to trust the metaphysical. You're a spiritual guru. Now, the word spiritual, it means the unseen. Basically, it means the study of the metaphysical. You know, we know the physical world. What shapes the physical world is the metaphysical, is the spiritual teacher. So it's the unseen. And like I was saying in the last quarter, we have to trust the unseen as spiritual gurus. So you can't be a spiritual guru and not trust the universe mm -hmm. in the process of the law of attraction. You can't be a spiritual guru and not be able to trust that the universe will provide for you without you uh, going to a nine to five. But dedicating your your life into what you were meant to do which is proclaim the kingdom of god and and until we truly have this deep connection with the metaphysical will we ever truly be able to say yo i'm a spiritual guru you 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 are meant to do it but you have to have faith in your own knowledge and your own knowing you already know the knowledge it's time to step out into it and stop being afraid because you already have the knowledge Okay, okay. Um, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say, you know, and just, you know, say hi to you and, you know, everybody there, you know what I'm saying? That's it, that's it. But, uh, yeah, I love myself. All right? I love myself. Peace, God. Peace. God, how you doing today? I'm good. Good, good to know. Um, I was just thinking about some things like y'all were saying, because y'all are on fire tonight. That's what's up. Yeah. And I enjoy your lives Hi. all the time. Peace, God. Peace. But to uh, piggyback on um what y'all was talking about, how, you know, um, why is it hard for the rich to enter my kingdom? And um, how can a camel go through the eye of a needle? And it's all perspective. Because you could be in heaven and be poor. And you can be in heaven and be rich. And the eye of a needle could be big if you hold it really close to the pupil of your eye. And you can see the camel through the eye of a needle if you change your perspective. So it's just like, you know, I love everything y'all doing. Y'all about, y'all real, you feel me? Like, I really vibe with y'all. Like, so I just want to tell you that you've helped me. Like, I've been awake for a long time. Like, I almost went crazy when I was a teen because I visualized and I seen things differently for what they were. And nothing meant anything. But at the same time, everything meant everything. And when your heart and your mind become married, that's when you awaken. It's hard to accept a lie in life, but to love yourself is the, really the key. Like, it's the first beginning to all understanding. And then you know your freedom, what you want for yourself, and you know you want that for everybody. But at the same time, you know everybody ain't worth it because they don't know their worth. Mm. And that's the only difference. And that's the only difference. But I just want to tell y'all, I love myself, and I love everything y'all doing. And, um... Man, y'all the business. Hey, 
Hey, we appreciate it. I love y'all music too. Oh my God, y'all be killing it. I'm an artist myself. I rap, I sing, I write a lot. You feel me? Like I'm an artist too. I draw. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna speak time for us? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think. I don't know. Um. I, I could spit some Christian stuff, but um, it was it's old school. But it'd be like, uh, he put food in my mouth and shoes on my feet, clothes on my back. Without the Lord, I can't speak. I'm weak, but he makes me strong. With the Lord in my life, I got it going on. I can't go wrong. Show me a homie that'll die for you when it's true. The Lord already gave his life for you. And it was him and only him that arose from the dead. And it's because of me and you that his blood got shed. You ask why he died for us. He did the most of fact that no homie love can come close to that. But on the real deal, I don't want you to take it from me. Get on your knees and repent and the Lord has set you free. Oh. <laughs> That's old school. That's really old. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what's going like on. That. Yeah. Okay. I thank you for calling in. All right. I thank you. I love myself. Hey, I love myself. Y'all be blessed. Peace. <laughs> But you can see the camel through the hole of a needle. Okay. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Can't argue with those words. <laughs> Let's see here. Take the next caller. No funny callers out here today. Peace, God. Everything good with you, man? How you living? Everything good, and you? Hey, man, you see Babylon, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Babylon you? got a hold to the, hey, man. <laughs> the man, the man got the man on your back. Boy, what you saying, man? But look, man, I just want to tap in with you, man. Politic a little bit, bro. Hey, man, I dig what you're doing, man. You know what I mean? You keep it up, man. And fuck all the haters. You know what I'm saying? You do you. You be you. Your truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? I rock with you, man. You know what I'm saying? ATL all day, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, my pops used to that. own, look. My pops own Jazzy T's, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you remember Jazzy T's on, on Decatur. Uh-uh. It was a strip club back in the day. Oh, you know man. No, no. It was popping. It was popping, uh, Club of Losers on Camelton. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was probably before your day, man. You know, we was popping, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, you keep it up, bro, man. You and the fam. All day, man. You and the fam. Y'all stay easy, man. Love y'all, bro. You. Appreciate the positive vibe. All right. Peace, bro. All right. Peace. All right. So like I said, man, we gonna close it down for the night. And, um, it was really good building with y'all, but before I let y'all go, I just want to let you know, remember to uplift one another. We are spiritual light workers. Light meaning awareness. You are here to bring awareness to someone. You have a message. You might not ha know everything, motherfucker. You might not know, but you, but you can know, and you can share what you do know. And you can uplift somebody. You can help people. We ain't got to be negative, man. Stay away from that negative vibe because... People, misery loves company. Misery love company. You know, be careful what you feed your energy to. Be, be careful what you give your energy. You teach your energy with such respect. And make sure you treat it better than your money. Please. Energy management is so important. Be careful what you give your vibration to. Be careful what you feed your eyes, your ears. Be careful what you give yourself. On this internet, be careful what you read. Be careful what you feed your mind. Like, whatever you feed your mind, your mind gonna feed off and you're gonna, you gonna become. Please, give yourself the very best knowledge. Give yourself positive vibes. You deserve positive vibes. 
anything that's down in somebody or being negative about somebody, don't feed your mind that. Stay up. Stay positive. Positive vibes. Like, feed yourself goodness, knowledge, and wisdom. When someone come with that noise, that's dumb shit, just let them know, man, listen, man, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't got a lot of, a lot of capacity. I don't got a lot of capacity to even to even put that in my cup for today. My cup is only going to be filled with what I'm trying to become. So I can't even vibe there. And I apologize, but I can't even give my energy to that. I can't even listen to that. I can't even watch that because I'm so focused on what's going to make me greater and what's going to make me be able to help somebody else. You can't help somebody else if you can't make yourself great. So you got to love yourself first and feed yourself the best food, the best people. Remember, people are a source of food, a source of intake. You got to give yourself the very best people in life. If people can't love you, first of all, you got to love yourself and know who you are first. Know yourself. Know what you deserve. Know what's going to make you happy and give that to yourself truly. And then when you fill yourself with love, you can help somebody else love themselves. But you can't give what you don't got. So you got to fill yourself with love. Isolate yourself and give yourself love and appreciation and let people in your life slowly be selective on who you give your energy and your vibes to because you're so important. You're so important. You feel what I'm saying? You so fucking important. And to this day, right now, you can change your life from your circumstance right now. Today, if you believe it, you you can be the most fucked up situation right now. But all you need is your mind. All you need is your mind. All you need is your mind is just to say, you know what? I love myself. Nobody got to love me. I love. Wait a minute. I love me. I love me. I love me so much. I'm going to give myself the best environment. I'm going to feed my, my body the best food. I'm going to study knowledge of self so I can give myself the best everything. The best everything. Why? So I can teach other people. You are a spiritual guru. And you can't teach nobody shit until you learn the best. You want to give the best so you want to you want to receive the best. So put your mind to the best. Put your mind to the positivity. It's okay to fucking joke around and watch funny ass videos. It's okay to do all that. But please be careful what you give your mind to. Be careful. You are too important. You are too important to accept someone that don't love you to the degree. To the degree that you deserve. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you deserve the very best. Stop dreaming little. You might not be, and your reality might not be showing you who you feel that you are in, in, in your mind. You might be feeling like, oh, I'm so great, but why my reality won't show me that? It's because you got to change your environment, your subconscious mind. What are you putting in your subconscious mind? Look around you. What are the people around you saying? Are they speaking life? Are they speaking death? So subconsciously, you're hearing death all day in your environment. Even though you know better, even though you know who you are, you're still around low vibrational entities that don't understand who they are. So subconsciously, what are you feeding yourself? And that's the key. The key to your life is for you to control your mind, what goes up in your mind, what goes in your eyes, and feeding yourself, literally feeding yourself in all of your senses Everything that you want to be and what, and what you aspire to be. And giving very little and giving very little. What's up, baby? And giving very little to anything else. Right? And, and, and giving very little focus. Believe. Your, what do you believe? And if you truly believe it and you can not achieve it and your mind can focus on it, then you can achieve it. It don't matter where you at in life. If you just start to sit and believe what you are right to yourself, you can start to manifest that. If you hold on to that vision, you truly believe it in your mind and your heart. And you have to change your subconscious mind, change your change your environment. Because your environment, if you look around you, is going against the very thing that you think you are. 
the people around you don't speak like you think. They don't think like you. So what are you feeding yourself in your environment? So you're counterproductive. You're, you're being counterproductive because consciously you like I want this, but subconsciously your environment says you want something totally different. And this is why you can't find change. This is why your life won't change. Your life is not changing because your environment doesn't induce that. Your environment is going against what you consciously know. So the subconscious mind is the is more powerful. Then the conscious mind. See, that's what's, that's what's wrong. We're conscious, but we're not conscious enough to understand that the subconscious is what rules your reality and changes your reality. So if we want to look at how do we truly bring change to our reality, we have to change our environment. And that is key. And what is your environment saying? We have to start seeing and looking around us and say, like, yo, what is my environment telling me? What is that telling me? Because that, my friends, is what controls 90% of the change that goes in your life. So it doesn't matter what you think you consciously know. What matters is your environment that you're in. This is what induces the change. The people in your life and the people in your life, the people that you surround yourself with. And these are the most powerful things that promote change in your life. So you must change the people in your life and how you must put yourself around people that think like you and stop affiliating and associating yourself with another frequency that has nothing to do with who you know you are these people in your life do not think like you and no matter how much you love and care about them you have to separate yourself so that your reality can reflect back to you who you truly are you have to change your subconscious mind you have to put signs up around you that say, I love myself. Because your mind is constantly feeding off this. And what you watch on TV and what you watch on the Internet, be careful what you feed your mind because that's what you're going to become. That's what your subconscious is being fed. And so your subconscious rules your reality. And, and, and whatever you put in your subconscious, you must receive. So rebuke anything that is not in tune with what you're trying to become consciously. Use your conscious, a weird mind to actually control your subconscious by controlling your environment. I don't care if you stick yourself in a room and put up a whole bunch of posters on the wall and say, I love myself. I'm reprogramming myself. I am getting to where I need to go. Affirmations everywhere. Going to sleep to affirmations. Go on YouTube, kiss some headphones. Go to sleep to affirmations. These things that reprogram your reality. But it's hard because you get up and you go right into an environment that is counterproductive to your progress. And that's the problem. That's why so many people are stuck. So many people are stuck because their environment induces the counterproduction of their actual what they're trying to become. And this is the problem in life. This is why I told the brother to just let the barbershop go because this environment that he has is not in conducive to what he's trying to produce. And it's the environment. It is that simple. If you change in, in, in biology, the culture medium, if you put stem cells in a culture medium, the stem cell will always become what the environment is. So if you have a culture medium full of muscle cells and you put a stem cell in the stem cells and it turn into a muscle cell. So this is this is biology one on one. So you must give yourself the very best environment and the environment. It means the people the food, you know, your surroundings. You would rather be by yourself than be around people that do not think like you. And it's not to look down on people. It's just to just say I'm disassociating myself with these people for this time and for my, for my spirit growth. I, I'm not powerful enough right now to be around you and still be produ productive to where I'm going. This is counterproductive to where I'm going. It's nothing personal. I don't think I'm better than you. I just think that I need to be in, a, in somewhere that I'm trying to get to a goal. And this is not conducive to where I'm trying to go. So this is the difference between a rich person or a successful person and an unsuccessful person. Is they know this very key to the kingdom. Right? So eventually you're going to see me in the tropics again. Why? Because I am already manifesting that. 
I am already there in my mind. I vision myself there. I belong there. You know I belong there. We know I belong there. So therefore, if I believe that I must cheat, it's already happening. It's already on the way. I'm sitting here just manifesting it with my mind. I'm sitting here focusing on it 24-7. I'm in the tropics. I'm already here. I feel the breeze. I'm there already. So eventually, what's coming to me? Like in God's speed, in God's timing, eventually you're going to see me back in the jungle and I'm going to be sitting here talking to you again back in the jungle and you're going to say, wow, chief, look at you. You're back in the jungle. How did you do that? I'm going to tell you, I focused my mind exactly on what I wanted and I and I made an environment conducive to what I was going toward. So the signs around me, everything symbols around me were saying, hey, nature, going back into that. I believe I already knew in my heart what I want, what I was going. So therefore, it must match the frequency of your subconscious and what you're putting in your subconscious mind. Be careful what you feed yourself. You are in control of your reality. You make your reality. Feed yourself what you want to become. Tell yourself what you are. Believe what you are. You are who you say you are. You are who you believe you are. You are who you repeat and answer to who you are. You are who you say you are. You are who you say you are. You think who you are. You are who you are. Give yourself the very best people. If the people around you are not encouraging you and your self-growth, then you're in the wrong place. If the people around you don't push you to your highest frequency, you are in the wrong place. If you are the smartest person around you, you're probably in the wrong place. Love yourself. Give yourself intelligent people to be around and challenge you in every way. You understand what I'm saying to you? Stay positive because you have no time for negativity on the way to where you go. Don't worry about the negativity. The negativity is good. It's good. Embrace it. When you see negative, always turn it into something positive. Remember, negative is just to be utilized for positive. Every time you see something negative, every time you feel something negative, be the alchemizer. Be the person that's optimistic. Hyper-optimism. Make sure you're always optimistic and turning everything negative into something positive. The universe is working for you at all times. Remember that you're being blessed even in your demise. You're being blessed even when things are looking down. You're being blessed because it's teaching you something. And it's always a positive perspective. There's always a healthy perspective. Keep the healthiest perspective, which is the Christ consciousness. As you can see, the room is sending you confirmations to your subconscious. This room is healthy for your mind. As you're in here, you know it's healthy for your mind because everyone is sending out positive affirmations. I am elite. I am a spiritual guru. Love you, Chief. Love you, Athena. You know, be the alchemist. Be the one that turns everything negative into something positive. There's always... The universe is always working for you. It's never against you. Never does the universe want to torture you. It's always trying to teach you a lesson about something. Always look at it and be like, wow, well, you can look at it negative like, damn, that's fucked up. But oh, okay, well, you look at it like this. Always take it and look at it in a positive way. It's always working for you. All right? I love myself. Send one dollar to my cash app. <laughs> Peace to the gods, man. I love myself. Thank you.